When I was younger, I used to love fireman Sam. Much like this, Jupiter the fire engine, I used to have one just like this. I used to take it everywhere with me. School, church, friends' houses, to the shops, you name it, my Jupiter was coming with me. I was obsessed. I used to spend literally every moment I was allowed playing fire engines, playing Fireman Sam, watching Fireman Sam, you name it, Mark was obsessed. Fireman Mark to the rescue. But as I got a little older, I stopped being quite as obsessed. I began loving something else. I began loving football. I was obsessed with football. I wanted to spend every waking moment kicking a ball, heading a ball, saving a ball. Leeds United was my team. I used to have their kit. I used to wear their socks, pulled up of shin pad shorts, Leeds United top. And if I was allowed, I'd wear my football boots to bed. Mark was obsessed with football. I loved it with all my heart. Why don't we pause for a minute and maybe why don't you guys think of some of the things that you used to love? Maybe it was fire engines, maybe it was dinosaurs or trains and you used to watch like Thomas the Tank Engine like all the time or Postman Pat or some other crazy kids program. But then you grew out of it. Why don't you talk for a minute, wonder what those are. So these things, the things that we chase after, the things that we used to love with all our hearts, I can guarantee you now they never once asked you how you were doing. They didn't care. My fire engine didn't care if I was having a good day or a bad day. My football didn't care if my parents were having an argument or I was feeling sad or had no friends. They just demanded my attention but gave nothing in return. And we often do this. We think our happiness is found in the material things that we own. So when we begin to fall out of love with one thing, we replace it with another. I wonder if there's things in your life, feelings that you can think of right now where you thought, if only I had that latest toy, if only I had those friends, then life would be complete. Why don't you talk amongst yourselves for a moment, what were those things and how did that make you feel? You know, life will always make you feel like you need the latest clothes, the latest toys. It will make you feel like you need to be the most popular person in your class, in your school, that you need to be the prettiest, that you need to be the wealthiest. And if you have all these things, then life will be good. But just like the fire engine, just like the football and some of the examples that you guys have been speaking about today, it never really did what you thought it would do. It only for momentarily made you feel happy. And then you were like, actually, maybe I need the new toy. Maybe I need the phone. Maybe I need those more friends over there. Maybe I need to join a different club because then I'd be happy. And then so you did that. And guess what? You had those same feelings. You were left feeling incomplete. The Bible tells us so much brilliant things. I'm a Christian. I follow Jesus most of my life and it's full of wisdom and joy and incredible stories. But there's one thing that it tells us, which I'm gonna tell you now, that our own completeness is now found in Jesus. It's not found in plastic. It's not found in leather. It's not found in friendships. It's not found in popularity or money. It's found in Jesus. Christians believe that you don't need a shiny new toy. Christians believe that you don't need to be the most popular person in the world to have your life complete because you never will. We've all experienced that, the fire engine, the football and your other examples, that your completeness, your wholeness is only found in Jesus. Why don't you guys take a moment now to really think about, do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? What do you know about him? Why don't you have a think and a talk together now about that. Loving God with all our hearts, all our minds, all our strength is what we believe as Christians is the way to completeness. It's not in material things. It's not in friendships. It's not in having a good life and lots of money. It's in our faith 
in Jesus. And that's what this is all about. That's what this life is all about. It's living for God. I just want to encourage you guys today, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, that you can always talk to Jesus. You can always talk to God about how you're feeling about life. And do you know what the greatest thing is? He listens. The creator of this whole world listens to you. No matter what it is, no matter where you are, you can talk to him. And that's the greatest thing about this faith that I have, that many people like me have, is that we can have a personal relationship with God because he loves us.